Hello and welcome back to Mount Gable. Have you like and subscribe today? There are lots of lonely videos on this page that could use some views. And then someday, by the time I'm 145 years old, I will have enough subscribers to compete with Kylie Jenner. Hey, uh, today I wanted to show you a few things that I've been working on and then I'm going to fix a few projects as well. This is the map and this is my first interchange with an outside connection. I actually like the way this turned out so I don't really have to mess around with that a whole lot. This is a concrete overpass I built over some rail lines, but I don't like it. So a little later on, we're going to fix that. Here's a partial clover leaf interchange I made. This will be the main interchange into the downtown area. To the north is a trumpet interchange that connects the downtown to the outside world. And here's the southern trumpet interchange that needs to be completed. First of all, I wanted to show you a little trick of mine. So when building a looping ramp that brings the cars down from the top level of a highway to the ground level of a highway, I like to set the elevation stop within the snapping tools to the lowest setting. Then as I'm creating the loop, I also lower the grade as well. This gives the loop a much more realistic slope downward. as opposed to the old way I did it, which was to make a circular shape at one level, and then I would just bring down the ramp all at once. So the next time you're making a looping ramp, you can give that one a try. Okay, two projects. This main interchange needs some on and off ramps. I'm going to use a single lane road to design this. That way I get the roadway grid pattern, and then I'll convert them a little bit later. I just completed the ramps on the Southern Trumpet interchange, but I think it's gonna be a little too close to the main downtown interchange, which means I have to fix that. Otherwise, it's going to cause some major traffic issues. You have to be very careful about building interchanges too close to each other. I have made that mistake many times before. I did wanna fix this highway overpass. I was impatient and built it a little too quick. The concrete barriers are too close and they don't slope down enough. The whole overpass needs to be deleted and expanded. Basically, I'm engineering this project from the start. I have designed a rectangular shape with a simple road, built up some ground, and then I've outlined the top of that with a simple road as well. I call these dirt cakes.
After trimming them up with the terraforming tool, I'm going to delete the back end of the dirt cake and slope the road down, and this will be the pattern for my keys. After that, I simply add in a bunch of freshwater outlets, flood the area, and start adding in my keys. Then I just terraform everything into the shape I want. And after connecting the roadways, here's what the newly redesigned overpass looks like. That is much better. It even has that new overpass smell that I love so much. <sighs> the next road fix involves the Southern Trumpet interchange that I talked about earlier. It is just way too close to the main interchange. I'm already getting headaches just thinking about the traffic problems. My solution is to move the whole Southern Highway down a bit. And after redoing the trumpet interchange, here's what it looks like. Much, much better. So that's going to do it for the road and rail layouts. In the next episode, I start building Mount Gable, and then I will try and figure out how it's possible that Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones is still alive. You have yourself a great day, stay happy and healthy, and I will see you in the next episode.